Tiffany Town with Mike here. Um, let's get started. Um, just a few things before we start hitting and making sounds. Um, just a few things to keep in mind. A lot of Tiffany playing, a lot of sound concept is based off of like hearing and seeing um, what other people have done. I think that's probably the easiest way because you can relate to it a little bit better. So I'm going to be doing playing as well as you. It's not going to be just me telling you what to do. So um, first thing, is the, these are two different sized timpani. They're both kettle drums uh, that have copper. It's got a frame, metal frame. It's not wooden. Um, this is the head. This is a, it's a plastic head, synthetic. Um, there's also calfskin heads. Totally different style of playing, so we won't even get there. But um, you also have a pedal on the bottom, which you guys can't see, but it controls the pitch. So that's how you tune it, which we will not be getting into, it'll be fixed. Um, and the way we make ourselves familiar with these instruments is we hit them with sticks. Sometimes with our hands, hopefully not with our heads. Um, yes, this is this is not even close to all the sticks that I have, but this is just the most variety I could come up with. Um, you got all sorts of different bamboo, you've got wood, you've got uh, carbon fiber like um, golf club, um, really like yeah, and then you've got wood ends. This is totally diverse. There's a million different things you do with a million different sounds. Um, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So. I'll let you hold these guys. So, just check it out for a second. So, this is where you strike, obviously, for the most part. <laughs> right. And you want to strike parallel to the drum. Sometimes... What is this black dot? Mean? This black? This black dot is a seam. Oh, okay. A seam because you have to tie the felt on this thing. Oh, okay. So that has nothing to do with it. Like, no. Okay. Uh, it can. You're not supposed to hit the seam because then you get a tick sound. Okay. But different places you can hold the stick, obviously you can choke up as much as you want to get a certain sound. Or you can get a really articulate sound with that stick. So just go ahead and check it out, just hit the drum wherever you want. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things you can do. A lot of different places you can get. Yeah, my favorite thing is when, when tympanists go like this. Like there's some sort of sound you're still making. Here. Right, that's actually an illusion, that's what we're going to get into. Um, so, first considering the way you make sound, the way you get tone off a timpani is based off of how you come into the drum and how you come off it. Okay. And it's that immediate, it's just right there, that's all that happens. Okay. So, to get the most time, to get the most sound, what we're going to try to do is just have a really relaxed stroke. So, maybe just a little bit straight, relax your shoulders, and then lift up your arms, maybe you're right here. Focusing. And just think about the connection you have with this stick. You want to oh, hold it. That's a good question. Yes. I ask that every day. Because <laughs> there are so many different techniques. Oh, okay, cool. So usually whatever feels the most comfortable for your hands. Um, so we're gonna do, we're just gonna get a really relaxed stick, hold the stick very relaxed, you can kind of hold it like this if you want. And we're just gonna let the stick fall onto the head, and then you're gonna help it come back up. You just, so if it was literally you're just going to come up with it. Well, try and get this rebound. Like you're going to let it fall. Yes, and then come up with it. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, so that's the it base. Nice. It does. It, does <laughs> feel, it feels totally, it's way better than that sound. Yeah, but it's a necessary sound still. You can tell the difference. Yeah, you can hear that immediate impact with more of like resonance. Right, right. So now just go ahead and see the differences in that. Even a more relaxed fall with the stick. Good. Good. And notice you're striking the drum. That's okay. You're striking the drum right here. You can also strike it here, straight anywhere. Basically, you don't want to hit the center unless you're supposed to. The reason why? Not very good tone. It kind of sounds like blah. And this sounds very pretty. Right? Okay. Cool. Yeah, so once you just go ahead and give that a go now, both drums, and just hit it with relaxing now, did it fall? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. See, now that you give it that sound, you hit the seam, so you want to make sure that... Oh, there you go. There you go. Go stick. There you go. Good. Sounds, sounds very pretty. It doesn't sound ugly. It's pretty hard to get a bad sound with these sticks, but that's right on. Go 
Cool. Okay, so now we're going to do another exercise. I was going to bring a tennis ball, but I, but I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so silly, but actually a good way to get tone is just to bounce a tennis ball on the head, believe it or not. Yeah, so that's kind of the image that we think of. So now I just want you to do quarter notes with one hand, okay. and then quarter notes with the other, and then uh, alternate it onto the other drum and do the same thing. So maybe oh, okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you a stick look. Yeah. Okay. 